Greetings and blessings. Crawford actually the spiritual boxer. I'm going to talk about boxing again, as I always do. And I watched a fight last night, Lyndon Arthur and Suarez. <laughs> I was really disappointed in Arthur. Really, I just, I don't know. I don't know what happened, confused, whatever. But I'm confused with the ending. But, nah, he's, for me, he's gone down a lot. It just seems to have a jab which isn't that hard or fast and it throws it from the wrong place to generate any power and it's slow uh, I don't know what to say I just, you know what I mean if I had a talent if I knew how to get out of first and second gear it just seems like he's stuck in fifth gear can't do anything paralysed with fear to throw punches anyway and another thing is I found this fascinating got kids who are now becoming trainers and it's like oh you're not training you're not doing sprints tonight you're sparring with me wait a minute who are you you're not the trainer and it seems like that it seems like people who don't know nothing about boxing always want to coach on boxing or teach boxing it's like I said to a guy if you're going to climb a mountain you're not going to go get instructions from a, a caver. You're going to get instructions from a mountain climber. Same as if I'm going down in a cave. I'm not going to go to a mountain climber and ask how to go down into a cave. I'm going to go to see a pothole or a caver. It just makes sense. Go to the people that have been there and done it. You know what I mean? You want to get to a, a tire level. Be trained by people who've trained champions or have done it gone on and been a champion because they know what it takes to get to that level like i said when i went to ireland the difference between our world champions train and our normal people train is a different level completely different level and people don't get that you know boxing looks easy but it's all the hard work that you do when you're in the ring like he's still there can't see him over my shoulder Shadow boxing, working on his craft, going over and over and over and over and over and over things, and time and time again, until it becomes second nature, until it's in in your blood, in your DNA. You know what you do. You can just move, bob, weave, whatever. And it's still gone. The reactions are there, so you got to put them in. But it's hours in the gym that puts that that puts that in. Don't try to be. Run before you can walk. So they used to say, you know what I mean? You've got to take your time, you've got to learn. And you've got to take a lot of these things on board and process them. Because we all process information differently. I remember telling a kid saying that I couldn't teach him nothing about boxing. And I thought, no, I can't because you're not open to learn. And there's a lot of people out there who are open to learn. And the other ones who waste trainers' time. You know what I mean? You've got to be willing to learn. And it's like tonight with Smith Eubanks. Who is Eubanks going to come in as? How is he going to box? Is he going to box like Chris Eubanks Jr. or like his dad or like Roy Jones? Has he got his own style, his own uniquenesses? Or is he trying to be somebody else? But like I said, my. Um, not premonition, um, prediction is Smith to win. Probably by KO, but I think he's going to win. Anyway, chilling out. Oh, if you like the vibe, then subscribe. Now, chilling out.